Thanks again for <laughs> tuning in to this episode of Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. I'm Robert Housefield, your host today. We're in the temporary studios of Regional Prime Television, where they're going to be filming our grand opening for the Roanoke Open Market, which is scheduled to open May the 1st. In one of our previous episodes, we're going to be talking about it each week up until the opening. So we hope that you'll all come out and join in the fun. Well, we're going to get right into the items that we didn't get to last episode. But first, I want to mention, right after the last episode, one of the film crew came up to me and said, Hey, Robert, I really like that king nutcracker and if you watched the previous episode it was a beautiful king nutcracker with a full cape the sword and everything in beautiful shape so normally i would have sold that item for 19 dollars 99 cents up to 29.99 in my shop but i offered it to him for 20 dollars and being the shrewd negotiator he is he negotiated down to 15 so I was happy to take my $15. Now, he knew I had only paid $5.99 for it in the thrift store, but he was happy to pay $15 because he didn't have to go out and shop. So that's an example of what you could be doing if you're doing your thrifting for profit and pleasure also. Just an example. So let's see what we have here. This is an unusual item. I don't even know why I bought it, except that it works, and I'm sure I have a good value. Now, this particular item was $5.99. I don't know whether the camera is able to zoom in on that or not, but this is called a Bama Hunting Supply, or it was made by Bama Hunting Supply. And my guess is it's some kind of collar used for I'm not sure it looks like there's a light on it uh, I push this light or this button and it works that's all I need to know for now I'll check it out and see what it is I don't want to get electrocuted but um, for that kind of money I figured I couldn't go wrong all right it looks like we have some more cups by the feel of it and you know I get excited about my cups yes these bone china cups are made in such a variety of colors and shapes and it's always nice when I find a nice one. This is it, Rose of England and as I mentioned before, England has some of the most fantastic bone china anywhere. Look how gorgeous that is. 59 cents. Oh my god. It's um, now I'll be honest, I have mentioned to several fleet, uh, um thrift stores before that some of their pricing is a little low on some items. Why do I do that? Well, one of my favorite thrift stores is Salvation Army. And we're going to be actually going to my favorite Salvation Army and doing a show there in the next coming uh, episode or two. I'm not sure we have uh, scheduled it completely. I've talked to the manager and um, she's trying to schedule us in. I won't go into detail, but look at the different designs as I was mentioning on these bone china. They are so beautiful. 59 cents. Um, don't have to negotiate on those. At that price, it's just look, how many of them can I buy? Um, that's what my only thought is how many of them are there? Oh, again, another one. Look at the design on those. So, one day I'm hoping to open a tea room. A tea room that features coffee and coffee uh, and teas and I'll be featuring my all of my bone china cups and you'll actually be able to purchase the same cup that you're drinking your tea or your coffee out of because it will make a nice gift item they'll be all gift wrapped cleaned and gift wrapped for you when you're ready to leave just for purchasing the coffee and the cup at the same time you get a special discount so that's why I'm building up my supply of bone china by the way I'm, it's a little secret that I haven't let out yet until today but again I'm just showing you the designs just showing you that I 
must have gotten all of these at the same time, 59 cents a piece. So I took every one they had. Um, and let's see if these are all the bone china. Sometimes I've come up with something else. No, these are still more bone china, 59 cents. So that was a really good day for me. I'm lucky if I find one bone china uh, when I go out. And if I find multitudes of them at one time, you can't imagine. I can't get to the register fast enough. Beautiful, beautiful designs. Now, these cups actually look like they were never even used. Because you could tell some if they've been used, if they're abused or what have you. These are like brand new. Again, bone china, 59 cents. And I can't wait to do that segment on it. You're going to be amazed uh, at the Bone China history. And there's so many companies, especially in England, that were trying to get your business when they first came out. Well, let's, they, these are all Bone China. I didn't realize I had so many. So that's a wonderful collection that I'm going to be able to go through. So... Here's another item I got recently. This was really nice. And although it was more than I wanted to pay, it was $9.99. But the reason I paid $9.99, it's from Cabela's. It's a walking stick. And I kind of collect walking sticks. I'm, I'm not really a collector, but I don't mind having them for sale until the right person comes along. That's what I mean. This one has a compass on the top, uh, which is really nice. And this one was designed for the hiker. It's got the telescoping, telescoping um, end, and it also has a secret compartment in the head so that you can keep your matches. I think typically is what they have in a lot of these. Yeah, this is filled with little matches so that if you wanted to light a fire, have a cigarette, what have you, on the trail, you got a dry match. So this was a good buy, in my opinion, for $9. I think they probably sell in Cabela's for somewhere around um, $20 to $30 is my best guess. I haven't had a chance to look it up yet because I knew I wanted it for the $9. It was such a good buy, in my opinion, even if I kept it for myself. And remember, when you're out thrifting, if you're not doing it just for the profit, get pleasure out of it. I get so much pleasure in finding these items, in searching for them, and then finding the right item, checking it out, making sure the condition, and some of the items I've never seen before. I had never seen that walking stick. I didn't even know it had that secret compartment until I started examining it in the shop, I mean in the store. All right, so here was another item. Um, it was half price. $5.99. The reason I got these, they're from Italy, made in Italy. I don't know the brand, but at half price, they were $5.99. So for $3, I got four plates, less than a dollar a plate for wonderfully decorated, it looks like Christmas scenes for Christmas. These are wonderful for your um, decor. So I figured for $3, less than a dollar a plate, you couldn't get that at the Dollar Tree. Remember, Dollar Tree's up to $1.25 now. All right. I love these containers. Almost any time I can get a decent plastic container for less than what I would pay in one of the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or one of those type stores, I get it. This happened to be a recycling bin, which is really nice because... It's, it's nice to have some that tell you that they are actually recycling bins so that you know that that's what you should be using it, it for if you can. But again, $2.99, $3 for this nice handled bin. And let's see what other treasures came with it. Let me put them out. Let me put the bin aside. Okay. All right. So these were masks. Uh, they were half price, a dollar a piece. I mean, a dollar a pack. And I think there's five to six in a pack. I sell a lot of these in my shop. 
I'll put four ninety nine on them, and people pick them up all day long because we're in this pandemic to stay. Unfortunately, I'm, I hate to say that, but whether it's designed or not, it's it's here. Uh, this is another one of those nice items. This happens to be bone china. I seldom find a nice bone china one with this type of design, but this is another one of those nice Valentine's Day gifts I was mentioning to you about. I think in one of my last episodes, I had something with for Valentine's Day. These always come in handy to have in my shop for that time of year. Now, you may have to keep it for another year before you sell it, because uh, it's sometimes not a good idea to have dated or yeah, well, per se, uh, particular seasons out at a different time. They just don't necessarily sell well. Christmas now sells all year round. You could have a Christmas booth that did nothing but Christmas all the time. I love these nice containers or these nice plate holders. This is a nice wooden one. It's Chinese, uh, probably in design and or, and or manufacture. But it was a dollar, one ninety nine half price. And the reason I like this one is, I can put one of my brass or Chinese plates in it, and it will look right at home, or Oriental in design also. Okay, let's get to this bag. Well, like I said, I never know what I bought, so it's hard to remember. Um, the reason I buy these, I don't like to have can. I, I'm a big uh, believer in candles, especially for emergency purposes, but I don't like to have them open. Uh, even the little tea candles should have some kind of covering just in case the wind comes along, the door slams, uh, anything can happen. So I like to have these coverings. I try and pick these up for under a dollar, which I did on that. I'm not sure what happened to the price on that. But, oh, on this particular one, that's why. This one came with the lamp portion. Even though this is a new design, it was only $4. So the reason I went ahead and bought this um, is because it's nice to have this type of, um, well, I'm not going to put that back on right now, but it's functioning, it's nice looking, and in case of emergency, those will come in real handy. You'll see if you ever have to have an emergency that how convenient those were. Now, I mentioned to you um, at an earlier session or episode how I love candles. I like candles for a number of reasons and I'm going to cover in another episode what I do with my spent candles. That's candles that are down to the very last part and and or the wick is gone. This one actually the wick is gone for some reason so I think I have it in the bag but even if I can't find it at a quarter which is what I paid for this I'm okay. I didn't lose anything because I did buy two of them and they were both a quarter and this one does have the wick so I'll be able to either use these candles in the project that I'm gonna mmm they actually have a wonderful cinnamon smell to them I love that Christmassy type cinnamon smell so I'll use those later on for a little bit of fragrance um, these are a couple more salt and pepper shakers. I was talking to you about these in an uh, earlier program also. I just love unique type salt and pepper shakers. They make an interesting um, addition to any table just for some conversation. Now, these happen to be Ma and Pa salt and pepper shakers. I'm not sure who's the salt and who's the pepper, but at any rate... Um, that's what these are, and they were 50 cents a piece, a dollar for the pair. I would consider that a, a very good buy. Um, now, I buy metal all the time because of its multi-purpose use. I'm not even sure exactly what this is, honestly, but it was 
uh, I'm going to bring it down here. Sorry. It was $7.99. And it has these... I'm not sure exactly what, what they'd be called, but kind of like spring braces so that you can determine how long you want it to be or where I guess those are going. I'm going to have to look it up. But it was half price. So at $4, I thought that was a good buy. Now, also, I mentioned that we do a lot of curtains. This can also double as a display. You can use this to hang things on once you set up your display, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Uh, this was, and this is all wooden, by the way, or it appears to be wooden, and I think, yeah, these screw on and off. And this was $5. This was at the local Habitat for Humanity. Now, we will also be featuring Habitat in one of our future segments. I've already talked to uh, the manager, and uh, he's got to check it out with a supervisor. But uh, I've known the supervisor for a number of years, so I'm sure we're going to be able to uh, be able to film over there because... Habitat for Humanity is a very good organization, or at least the part that I know about, and they've always um, accommodated me in my needs for this type of product, and I've always made money on the items that I've been able to buy at Habitat and or they've given me such pleasure. This is one of those items, I think that's probably a pleasure item, but I think I'll make profit on it too. It's all metal. And although it looks cheap in the back, it is kind of cheap from one perspective. The clock is cheap. It's a quartz clock and just needs a battery, and I'm sure it's going to be running. But it looks very nice. And the reason I liked it, it's metal. It can be painted any color if it starts fading. I could actually take the clock out and put a picture in there, and it would look really nice. So... That, I thought, was a good buy for $10. That would be probably $40, $50 at least in any retail store that carried it. I think it may be a Walmart-type item. I don't know, but it is very well made, so I thought that was a pretty good buy. Now, these are scarves. This, I... I hadn't even opened it yet. I don't know what's in here, which ones are here, and I'm not going to open it now because uh, I'll open it in another episode so you can see what a good deal there was. But this was $3.99, and these are all different kind of scarves. Uh, probably some of them silk, some of them wool. You can find a number of those type items at good prices at your thrift stores. That's one of the clothing items that normally doesn't get worn that much. So they're normally in great shape. Okay, now this one, $3.99. What is it? It's a game. These are really nice this time of year. Summer's coming in. And you can find this type of thing at your local thrift stores quite often. Um, the reason I got them oops, this one, is because with my nieces nephews this might be something that they might want to play this is one of those uh, toss games where you have the little <coughs> rounds and you throw them in the holes you part from one another this is kind of one of those little great beach games we're going to be going to the beach hopefully uh, some this summer in fact, I may be going uh, sometime in this month uh, down to Florida, visit my niece who is hoping to come up or down from uh, North Carolina. All right, so. Yeah, let's get some items in there. Okay. This was really interesting. Now, I'm not big on toys, but Ken who runs our um, booth at the Carrollton Flea Market said, Robert, you need to get me some toys. He likes to give out toys to ki the kids that come by that, you know, you can obviously tell their parents are not going to buy them anything for whatever reason. They can't afford it. It doesn't matter. But he likes to 
In fact, he'll even buy some from me so that he feels like he's really contributing to it, which I don't mind doing because that's one of his ways of giving back also. But this one, as you can see, has a lot of little toy type items. Those are resellable, but I bought them really to let him give out. Um, and also this was a neat little pig in the poke, so to speak, but this actually it contains some cool little pieces uh, that probably could be worth a little bit more money than I'll have to do a little bit more research on that one. So that wasn't as bad a pig in the poke as I thought it was gonna be, just looking at those little toys, but if we do nothing but give these away at the flea market to some deserving kids, we're happy with that. Now, I love plastic products because they are so useful. This is one of those items I got for 89 cents. 89 cents. Now, this is like one of those IKEA type products, and the reason I, it's got a recycling thing on it, but it came with this little pan. I like to do my own dishes. So this is perfect for the lids to cans that I recycle and smaller items that fall through my uh, dish pan. Not my dish pan, but my uh, the dish holder that's on the side. Now let's go over to this side. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm messing up the camera. I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna have to readjust over to this side. I was mentioning in a previous episode also my dog, who's 12 years old now, is convalescing and he has to be, I have to clean him all the time, twice a day now, which I don't mind because he's not, doesn't seem to be in pain. He seems to just be happy to be with me. But these are some items I picked up recently. I had no idea what they were until I saw them on the shelf, but they were only $1.99. And I think that uh, the price on those originally if I saw it on one of here right, it was $8, and then they marked it down to $4.99 at Ross, and then it went to the Salvation, or to the Goodwill, and I bought them for $1.99 a piece. That was a steal for me, because I'm going to have to start using these um, on my dog right away. So for $4, uh, for a $16 normal purchase, well, it was a pretty good deal. Um... Here. Now, this is another one of those items that not everyone would be able to purchase or know why they're purchasing it, but this was 59 cents. Now, this also is a bone china dish. If you look on the back, uh, you can see that it's, it's fine bone china also. Now, the nice part about this one is it's already got the whole... This was used as a dessert or candy dish holder. And I think I have some of the parts. It's a, like metal parts that hold the um, uh, plates together that I'll have to get together um, because I have some that I don't like what the plates look like, but I, I can use the same parts for. So that'll be a good experiment to see if I can get that going. Okay, I love paintings. Some of them don't make sense, or some of them maybe no one else likes, but this is a fox, and it was uh, painted in 1993. I haven't looked up the artist yet, but it was a decent painting on canvas, and it was 89 cents. 89 cents. So, to get the canvas that, if nothing else, my business partner can repaint over it. You can't get the canvas for 89 cents. That canvas is about three to four dollars at least in the supply shop. Now, this is another buy, and I don't know whether you can focus in on this, but this is a jewelry box, and it's one of the larger versions. Uh, these sell for up to $100 in the retail store. It has, look, this opens up here. It's got a mirror. Now, I might need to replace the mirror. The mirror part is a little bad, but you can 
put a, a, get a replacement for that fairly reasonable, I do believe. Um, all the drawers are there with the handles. You can use tape um, and it'll pick up a lot of the lint and that sort of things, those sort of things that are in the drawers. Or you can use a lint remover like you, you, you would use that's on a roll that you would get at one of the dollar stores. I purchased this for $12.99, $12.99, so I couldn't pass this up. It was in such good shape, and I should easily be able to get $29 to $39 for that. Quickly, let me go over this item, because I'm sure you're thinking, Robert, are you crazy? That looks like a dress. Yes, it's a dress. In fact, it is a wedding dress. And the reason I want to show you, look how beautiful with all the sequins and pearls and, or beads and silk. So I told my business partner about this and he said, Robert, that's fantastic. You know, I can make a lot of Christmas ornaments out of that and pillows and this and that. So he was already thinking how he would repurpose this wedding dress. Well, I bought it at the Salvation Army. I'm, of course, they'll go up on the prices once they see my video, but I can't help that. It's going to happen. But it was $19.99, and it was on half price. So it was $9.99 for a beautiful wedding dress like that. So my idea was to possibly have it cleaned if it needs it, but to sell that for a lot more money than that. 